Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today is going to be a video about being confident as a tall woman and being stylish. So this is kind of like something that I was talking about on my Instagram a while back. And I usually don't talk about it on this um, channel, but I thought it was really important. And here's why. <laughs> I came across a young lady who was pretty tall for her age and she wasn't really like walking tall and um, I could just tell that she wasn't really confident with what she was born with, right? So I looked at her and I said, you're really pretty, right? And she's like, I'm so tall. It's the first thing she said. So that's how I know that um, it was an issue for her. And she probably was about maybe 13, 14, possibly. So, you know, I told her that, you know, I was always tall myself. Well, I said, well, I, I kind of shot up in like the fourth grade. And she was like, you did? She's like, but you carry it so well. And I was like, well, you know, my mom always taught me to walk straight. Don't slouch over. Embrace it. We can't do anything about it, right? So she's like, you know, I'm always the tallest in school or whatever. Of course, boys are always shorter than me. <laughs> and I was like, that'll change. Okay, once you start being confident with what you have, then you wouldn't even pay attention to the other stuff. So she was like, you know, shopping is really hard for her and stuff. And I said, well, I am a stylist. I usually work with corporate women. But, you know, I've always thought about working with young girls because I know that there is a struggle there. So she was like, what do you do? I said, to be quite honest, when I lived in New York City, I never really shopped tall girl brands. It wasn't something that I knew about. I just kind of made regular brands work for me. And I was like, I do the same to this day. So she's like, oh, you know, my mom and like, you know, shopping and stuff. I was like, listen. Follow certain people online who are like you. Sometimes following women just in fashion can kind of deter you from shopping because they're average height women. They can go into any store and buy any anything. But there are a lot of brands now who do, well, I'm not going to say a lot. I said to her, I told her a lot, but it's actually not a lot. I told her there's a handful of brands that actually cater to us. The quality is not the best, so you kind of have to make it work for yourself. So I was like, just save your money and just start buying things that actually fit you really nice. And I told her, I said, here's a secret. Sometimes if the item is too um, big, but it fits you in length, still get it, get it tailored. She's like, Taylor, I'm like, yeah, your mom will pay for it or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm telling her her mom will pay for it. But it's just the reality. Being confident with what you were born with it's not something that a lot of people have, right? They don't know how to do it. They may be plus size. They may have always been plus size their whole life and don't really know how to adjust and like um, possibly lose weight if they want to. And then for tall women, we can't do anything about it, right? We just kind of got to make things work. So my other Instagram page is strictly, it's for me, just for me to have fun and for other tall women to see that we could be stylish. We we're not like, what, what's the word? <laughs> we're not aliens. We can still be stylish. We can we can still wear trends. Not often because you guys know trendy items are really for like the average height women. There are like other brands, like fast fashion brands that sell trendy items for tall people. But most of the time you're probably going to end up replacing that item anyway. So I don't recommend it, but some people do. Some people do. So when it comes to being confident and stylish, you have to own it, okay? You can't worry about what others are wearing, um, what's in, what's not. You wanna make sure that your clothes are fitting you properly. That's the biggest thing, right? The sleeves are like super short or the pants are high. Um, knickerbockers are not really knickerbockers. <laughs> ankle pants are not really ankle pants. So you just have to really pay attention and if I have any young girls watching me, make sure you have a full-size mirror in your house. 
listen, I've went many, many years without a full-size mirror and I don't know how I did it. I think when I lived in New York, yep, when I left my apartment, the moment I opened my door, there was a mirror. <laughs> so I didn't need one. Um, and then downtown, there's like windows everywhere. You can see a reflection. But I get a mirror and when you buy clothes, if you don't feel comfortable trying them on in the store, try them on at home, put some music on and look at yourself in the item. Like I said, social media will make you think that you have to buy everything that everybody has or you have to look a certain way. So of course, my camera died. I'm starting to think I need new batteries. Um, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but yes, you wanna make sure that you have a mirror in your home where you can actually see how the clothes fit on you. You know, pay attention to your body, pay attention to how pants fit, how skirts fit. Pay attention, like I have um, skirts here, but I usually get skirts that are at the knee or longer. And the reason why is because I do not like mini skirts. I, and I don't even think it's my age because I think I've always been this way even as a child. So I know that I just don't like them on me. Like I have a lot of leg. I don't need my legs to be all out there. But sometimes they will, I see women who are tall and they look amazing on them. It just ain't for me. So I have learned to make certain things work for me. So for my young girls and even my older women who still are uncomfortable with being tall because I've seen them as well, um, embrace it, okay? Embrace it. Don't get caught up in what everybody else is doing. Um, even down to shoes, guys. To be <laughs> it's not funny, but I got some big feet, right? So most of the time, I can't just be like, oh, we're gonna go to the store and buy a pair of shoes. It don't work for me, okay? I think the older I get, I think they're spreading even more. Um, so which makes it a little bit more difficult. And then I don't wear heels as much as I used to because I'm always driving. So that could be a part of it as well. But, you know, I still don't let it stop me. I'm not gonna go and just be depressed because I can't look stylish or put together, so. I don't know, for me, I just feel like I wanted to have this conversation because there are a lot of young girls who are struggling with this or honestly, even body positive, period. Like, doesn't matter. They're in school, they're seeing other people who are a certain way. Listen, the girls nowadays, we were not like this before. Um, so I know it's a lot of pressure on them. Back in my day, <laughs> back in my day, guys, uh, we were just having fun. like. We wore baggy pants, <laughs> we wore jerseys, well, New York. We wore fitted hats, um, leather coats, boots, bubble coats, <laughs> um, denim, like all that stuff. So, but now girls are wearing heels and stuff, like high school girls. So I know the pressure is there. And then if you are, if you feel like you're an outcast or you're different, it can definitely cause some internal damage. So I just wanted to come on here and quickly talk about that and just talk to my ladies who are tall, um, young and older, doesn't matter. You can be stylish, get creative, find you a tailor. I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna say this a million times on this channel, a tailor is your best friend. Um, I am going to try something out probably really soon because I'm noticing that, I don't know, a lot of the pants that I want, they don't come long enough. What comes long for us guys is stupid skinny jeans. And until they make a huge comeback, I'm not, I'm like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so your best bet is to, I guess you could say, get creative, get two pair of pants, see what your tailor can do. Trust me, they will work wonders guys. But don't let it hinder you from being stylish or feeling good about yourself. I have a closet full of clothes here. It is what it is. And if you don't want to get something tailored and you like skirts and dresses, baby, listen. The amount of skirts and dresses that I see that are so sick. I'm like, but I don't wear them as much as I used to. But they're there, guys. Beautiful tops. We can find jackets. So many things get creative get creative do not let it hinder you from looking 
nice and or how you want to look guys so that's my quick little video for today it's kind of like an inspiration video for women um and this could go for t short tall or petite because if you really think about it we have the same struggles right petite girls the clothes are too big tall girls the clothes are too <laughs> too short so we still have to go find a tailor find brands that cater to us do research um try things on buy multiple sizes it's just what it is right girls who are average height um clothes may not necessarily fit them exactly how it should because that designer does not know every single body type but it fits them to the point where they don't have to get something tailored um but yeah it is this is this is life guys but we can't let it bring us down when it comes to being stylish and fashionable but the outfit that i have on today uh, i have on a pair of zara pants zara jeans you guys seen these before i'm gonna pop in a photo <laughs> zara jeans and um this is actually an old listen i tell you i don't shop zara all the time but they have nice sweaters when they do come out it's just like a peach sweater and then i had on some pumps today and a simple bag and i had a blazer over me but simple guys um you know, like I said, if you want to be trendy, yes, you can shop fast fashion brands because they usually have it. And I, mm, is it Pretty Little Thing? I think that's who carries tall. Um, ASOS has tall. Uh, Banana Republic has tall. The Gap has tall. But more trendy, trendy, I would say Pretty Little Things and stuff like that, right? And it's affordable. And I, mm, I want to say Nasty Gal, but... I don't shop there and I don't shop at Pretty Little Things, but I do know that they have a tall section. So get creative, ladies. Read your labels. Your labels is king. Um, if you have to order an item multiple sizes, do that. Check out the quality of the item. You don't want to have to keep replacing something over and over. That is what I teach my clients because it is pointless, guys. Like I'd rather you spend money on something that's good quality um, and just take care of it. But that is all I have for you guys today. A quick little short video. Um, this holiday is here, so things are like slowing up with videos and stuff with folks. So bear with us all, guys. But I'm glad I was here today with you guys. If you guys have any questions about anything that I spoke about, comment below. I love to have the conversation about confidence and being tall, standing tall, walking straight, shoes, jackets, sh tops, bottoms, everything all things tall ladies guys or just fashion in general so let me know if you guys are interested make sure you are following me on instagram at coco styles ny and coco styles nyc nyc page is the tall girl page that's my page the other one is my personal my business page and then my blog coco styles nyc and my personal styling service coco styles ny and guys if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and guys don't forget to like the video I know YouTube, I don't know if it's kind of like Instagram with the algorithm, but listen, I need my stuff to be pushed out. I need the world to know that there's tall people out here and we love fashion too, guys, not just the models. <laughs> so I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.